Hi, I'm Tom Nelson. Today I'm at Boning Archery, who's celebrating their 75th anniversary. So, I have a special invitation for you today, as I'm going to take you on your own personal VIP tour through Boning Archery. Come and follow me. Good morning. I'm looking for Scott, Tom Nelson. Thank you. Uh, here he comes yeah. right now. Good morning, Scott. Tom. Good to see you. Good morning to you, Good sir. Good to see you. You know, one thing I like about coming here at Boning is everybody's always so friendly. The girls up front and such, and that's, you know, first point of contact. That's right. It's one of the hallmarks of Boning, right, is customer service. It always has been. And when you call here, you get a live voice and a live person that can answer any questions you might have. And in today's world, especially to me, that's important. That's great. So where are we going to start? So right now we're in what we call the main plant, and these are the administrative offices, right? So we came in the main entrance. We've got purchasing and sales and accounting. Um, our VP of admin, Karen, is office. So uh, this is where we all reside. Yes, sir. On a daily basis. Our graphic artist, Kevin, and then our conference room. So, Tom, as you know, um, in 2021, Boning celebrating its 75th anniversary. Yes, congratulations. And, and this is the original building that Rowling, uh, as a family man and an archer and here in the camp, started to solve the issue of, uh, you know, getting an insert to adhere to an arrow. And uh, we still use the building today here. That's, that's amazing. What a piece of history. This is where it all started, a big part of the Boning family right here. Yes, sir. Tom, here we are in the upstairs of the original building, which is our shooting range. Um, automated range where we test knocks and uh, all kinds of different products. Um, you know, when the company started in 1946, uh, Rowling Boning, uh, as a chemist, sought to solve uh, wax and adhesive issues, mm -hmm. uh, which he did. And it, as it evolved into the early 60s, his son-in-law then, Kobe Johnson, and his wife Martha took over the company. And Kobe was a hunter. Uh, and so a lot of the boning products at that time uh, focused on hunting accessories. Hunting accessories. Yes. Our, our paint line was developed and our crest lac for dipping and cresting and, and lure lacs uh, were developed at that time. And then, uh, so Kobe uh, managed the company through the 70s and into the early 80s where now Larry Griffith, who's Kobe's son-in-law, mm -hmm. has taken over the company. You know, and we've moved, of course, into uh, thermoplastics and Knox, and of course the Blazer Vane and and premium points, and and that's all been under Larry's direction. So the innovation has start started in 1946, continues yet today. And along with innovations, the research and the behind the scenes stuff here at Boning, where everything is tested. And this is an illustration of that three. Uh, these are three automated uh, bow launching devices, if you will. Um, this is exactly where uh, any of our knocks are tested. One single knock of a particular model is shot a thousand times before we ever release that um, exact knock part number. So um, that's so interesting. And again, everything's tested and proven before it's used in the field. That's so interesting. You know, that, that is totally impressive. We're here in the testing room at Boning. Nikki's showing us around a little bit. We just watched this blazer vein get stretched to about five inches. You know, wow, the adhesive ability of the glues. That speaks volumes. You do a lot of testing on everything here, it sounds do. like. We really do. Um, Nikki wears a lot of hats here at Boning. Uh, she's our chemist, uh, so she's responsible for the paint line and, and all of our testing and, and any of our chemical analysis, uh, but I, I really think that testing is one of her passions and she spends a lot of time doing it and um, it is a hallmark of boning, no Absolutely. question. Absolutely, you know, and for, as a dealer, you know, you want that, you want that to know that this stuff is tested, that it's proven, and as a bow hunter, you want to go afield with the best you can get. Well, this just this goes to show that, you know, you test your product before it's delivered. Right. So that Once in a lifetime opportunity, we want the the best we can afford. Yeah. And that's what you get when you buy boning products. I can tell where we're at right now, Scott, that this is a machine shop here at Boning. That's right, we're in the heart and soul of Boning. Um, the tooling division, uh, directed by VP Mike Barnes, who's been with the company over 30 years, was vital in the whole development of this 
particular division for the company and it allows us to uh, do things internally again. We make many of our own dyes and we repair them of course and because of that it controls all of our quality internally. And, um, and that's a real key. I mean, and there's not many manufacturers anymore that can make that claim, but you can here at Boning. Beautiful. Knox. All right. Well, Tom, here we are at the production line. Um, we just left the tooling division. Of course, the, uh, they're running them right now. This is the double lock signature knock. A boning standard for years in the hunting area. Great knock. design, yeah, for the 246 arrow. Uh, this year, in keeping with our, you know, um, tradition of innovation, we released a, a smooth release insertable knock. So a lot of the target guys, like the, you know, when you typically, uh, which we produce uh, a lot of those target knocks, they're typically smooth release. So you, you know, they're getting a. a yeah. But this, this, shot. Yep, this is the knock Boning's famous for, and the knock that we use a lot is, the, that, is right. that standard double lock Signature knock. Signature or the blazer. Yep. Tom, we're here at one of the many inspection stations along the production line. In this case, it's for veins. And of course, Boning produces veins for indoor and outdoor, 3D and, and hunting, um, and, and several vein models in each of those disciplines. So uh, we take great pride in our inspection and of course our handling and our packaging is always top notch. And Tom, there's one more special vein that I'd like to show you. I want to see it. So what do you have here? All right, Tom, here's the other vein I wanted to show you. And of course this is the new Griffin vein. Um, nearly two years of testing and development. Um, we tested it internally, we had it externally tested, and it's meant to uh, be utilized in the uh, 3D archery and Olympic recurve uh -huh. um, environment. And so it's competing primarily against a Mylar product, mm -hmm. is what it is. Um, as you can see, uh, it's unlike any other vein you've ever seen before. It's an inch long, it's a 0.21 in height, and weighs an unbelievable 1.2 grains. Wow. So. Um, Impressive. It's, it's hard to believe that it spins nearly at twice the rate of a mylar. Um, it steers in high wind conditions. And uh, our hopes are, right, that we have Olympians standing on the podium uh, shooting an American-made Griffin vein. I like in that. In the very near future. So um, there it is. Uh, just quickly, it is uh, fletchable with a jig, unlike any, any mylar as well. You can set it in the insert, put it right into any standard jig. You fletch it straight because the helical is actually built, built in. into the vein. Sure. You can see what we call a twisted ribbon design. And this vein is actually a injection molded. And um, there it is in a large scale. Well, that's an exciting product and, and it's surely gonna be a winner. Well, we certainly hope so. All right, Tom, so now we're gonna come into the graphic uh, printing area here. This is where all the wraps are printed. Uh, we also uh, print a lot of labeling for our own boxes. Um, you can see some of it hanging here drying. These are, would be box labels for the complete tower kits. There's some wraps here in the back. Um, Sue's been doing this a long time for boning. Um, she does a tremendous job. Right now she's printing out some Cryptek, uh, brand new Cryptek wraps for us. So, you know, boning's vinyl, right? And its adhesive is, is tested on arrows, right? Which is where it's used not on the back of a vehicle or anywhere else. So uh, it's the very finest quality and it, it holds up under all weather conditions. Um, obviously the adhesion is very great. And we have a, very you good. know, we, yeah. yeah, we have the ability to custom yeah. print, yeah. right? Both veins and wraps, so shops can, and do. And I'm always amazed at the variety, the number of colors, you know, and all the options as an archer. We all like to customize our arrows and with boning wraps and all the different colors and designs. As an archer, you can do that. You can do that. And we've now added five and a half inch, so four, five and a half, seven. Beautiful. You can get them all. What's next? Well, what's next is we'll go over here. Yeah, Tom, this is the area here where we mix and pour our adhesives and waxes, right? And Ferrolite, the very first product of boning, 1946, the glue that holds the insert yes. into the arrows, right? Oh. This started it all with yeah, rolling. That's what, when, when you bring up boning, 
people right away think of adhesives, you know, the glues, the ferrotide, and the platinum, and yeah. such, when really there's so much more. But this is the, you know, the mainstay here, something, like I said, that you're noted for. And then our waxes, of course, right? Seal tight and text tight. You can't, you don't have to say much about seal tight and text tight. They are um, the premier wax when it comes Absolutely. to archers, right? Wow, and here's a healthy supply of textite wax ready to be shipped to dealers nearby. And Tom, I wanted to show you uh, another way of applying either our seal tight or textite wax, which is our box configuration. And in this case, the top pops off. These two ends slide back, which allows you to rub this up and down the string without getting it on your hand and then reseal it for your pack. It's a terrific way to apply wax. I think it's something that the consumer is really going to uh, really, look for. Yeah, quick and easy, and you're not going to get wax all over the place and apply more wax in a hurry. So, right. yeah, that's a win-win. Great new item. And we make the container ourselves. Perfect. Ah, yeah. I know what room this is. <laughs> Here we're assembling the brewing uh, this morning. Of course, the brewing quiver which is a great lightweight um, quiver, capo hold and everything, including cross bolts. You know, I, I love it. We've added a, a flexible tree hanger to it. Of course, and, and we make it. Um, we have them because we make it. Right? right here in the U.S. of A. So you can see we've got the people assembling all the components. We recently took the, the stem and matted the finish on it so it's not shiny. Yep. And, of course, the lever, lever lock connection to the bow, is, is uh, it's silent. Right? There's no click, there's no snap. When you take this off your bow, it just slides out. Slide it back in, push the lever over, there's no noise. And as a bow hunter, silence is golden, right. so that's important. Uh, a variety of camo, and then of course the black with, in this case, orange liner for a hood. Yeah. A black on black's most popular. We've got some real tree patterns, mossy oak, those are popular. Um, but these are, as well, the, the color liner. Again, a component of it that we make ourselves right here. So. Very nice. Yeah. So Tom, this is our premium points line. Um, our raw material, typically in, in four sizes, um, is fed through our brand new machining center, which is, uh, produces an incredible tolerance rated uh, field point, whether it's glue in or screw in. Um, we have a full line. Um, most of the glue in our manufacturer aero specific. Okay. So when you order for a, you know, a VAP, you order a glue in point uh, for that. And the screw ins typically, right, are all the hunting arrows. All of these points are, are tested and guaranteed both weight and concentricity. And this is the area that that's done in. So we guarantee them within a quarter of a grain of the weight, which is about an eight hundredth of an ounce. Right? Yeah, super important. And I know from personal experience in the past, just weighing some of my store-bought field points, that they can vary as far as overall weight. When you're looking for accuracy, that can be a problem. And in today's day and age, right, we're all buy buying tolerance-rated arrows and, and uh, equipment. Um, so to put a field point on it that's guaranteeing you that same tolerance yeah. only makes sense. Very, very much so. And you make a wide variety of them. As I, as I mentioned, uh, for instance, these are for a, you know, an NBX 23. Here's a glue-in point, aero-specific. So it's been designed and built to the exact specifications of the inside diameter of a particular aero. Yeah, that's, that's uh, just amazing. Right. And, and where the screw ends in your typical 1964 uh, hunting aero, you can get concave point or a bullet point. So you can get either. Uh, the concave is... is um, really used over in Europe where the targets are very hard. So it's got that chiseled point versus a bullet point. Wow. Um, available in packaging from a six pack to 1200. Wow. So this is packaging. That's right, Tom. This is where all the components are brought to and then assembled into final products, labeled, packaged, and sent up to shipping. Huh, yeah, an intricate part of the operation. Right. Yes. Lots of inventory. Hey Tom, we're in the shipping department here at Boney. This is where all the products get picked from the inventory, packaged and labeled, 
um, sent out to our distribution network all over the world. So a, a question, you know, as a dealer, when I place an order, what's the turnaround from the time that order is entered, received by you, to the time it's shipped out the door? Right. So typically two to five business days here at Boning for most of our stock material. Uh, those orders are entered. Once they're entered, uh, if the ship date, if it's requested ASAP, it'll print right out, and uh, when we get it picked, we'll get it shipped. Um, and of course, different times of the year, oh, yes. uh, there are different lead times, but it's very rare that we're over 15 days uh, here at Bowling. That's, so. that's, re that's really, really good. Scott, I got to thank you, first of all, for the tour today. Interesting, as always, coming up the Boning Archery. And, you know, I want to reach out to you, the dealer and stuff, and just give you a little bit of information. If you have any questions, any concerns, want a new catalog, have a question about a vein, want something customized to sell in your store, don't hesitate to give somebody here at Boning like Scott or anybody can help you. Give them a call, contact them, get the information you need because there's no finer people in the world to work with than Boning Archery. Again, thank you Scott thank you, so Tom. much. Appreciate great time, it. great day today here at Very Boning. Good. Thank you.